We're Gabe and Meg. In October of 2019, we decided to leave our beloved city of Chicago and travel the world full time, starting in Central America. After six months of traveling in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua, the COVID-19 pandemic completely changed our plans. With airports closing and a strict curfew in effect, we evacuated back to our home country. After weighing our options, we've decided to relocate to a country that has had one of the most successful responses to the virus. We're moving to Taiwan! We've packed up our bags once again and are ready to explore the food, culture, and customs of this amazing island nation. Air Force here is uh, doing some sort of military drill over the city today. And we're going into Tainan's famous Confucius Temple, dated back to the 1600s. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Welcome to Anping Fort. This fort was originally built in 1624 by the Dutch and was called Fort Zeelandia. Then in the 1660s, the famous warrior Coxinga expelled the Dutch during nine, nine months of intense battle. Um, and it was subsequently renamed An Ping Fort. Coxinga was a warrior for the Ming Dynasty in China, but apparently he was born in Japan. one of the most commonly worshipped gods in Taiwan. Um, she is often referred to as Mother Matsu. She is the heaven god mother. And there's an interesting story about this temple. It was originally a palace for one of the emperors of the Ming Dynasty here in Taiwan. 
and to help soften the Taiwanese to foreign rule, he converted the palace into this temple because he noticed that the Taiwanese worshipped this god the most of all of the gods. Um, it looks really beautiful. We're going to go in and check it out. So this is just a shot of the Taiwan Railways station it, as opposed to the high-speed rail station. It's a lot cheaper and a lot of people use it. It is a long weekend so you can see a lot of families, a lot of people out here just hanging out for the weekend. It has a different feel than the high-speed rail for sure. It's a lot more of a local train. It feels very different from the much more expensive and sleek feel that the bullet train gives off. Is this our train? So that was not our train. So there's a difference here. You can buy yourself uh, a reserved seat that you don't have to compete for. It's on your ticket uh, and you just show up and sit there. Or you can just tap your easy card, which is the card that you can use for everything here in Taiwan, and just come in and kind of like compete for space. And sometimes you'll just be left standing. We've been in that situation before. We were not looking to do that all the way back to Kaohsiung. So that train is not our train. We'll be taking a different train to Kaohsiung and we will not have to compete for seats. And here's our train back to Kaohsiung. Sure glad we got reserved seats because it looks like everything's pretty packed right now. Trains are really packed. You can actually see people just hanging out in the gangways in between cars. A little bit hectic, but it's fine. We've made it to our seats. There are some people sitting here, but it's all been figured out. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to click that red subscribe button and give us a like. Mm -hmm. And please leave a comment below. Tell us what you think.